Good morning, Taurus. This is Renee, and welcome to my channel. If you're new, if you're returning, welcome. Thank you for your support. I appreciate your returning. Okay, what do we have for Taurus? We have Speak Your Mind. Okay. At the bottom, we have Give Love. What else do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus? For December 15th through the 31st, what do we have for Taurus? We have Impatience. Okay, at the bottom we have faith. So yeah, keep the faith. Your situation, whatever it is that you're going through, is going to work out in time. That's how I'm feeling. It's going to work out in time. Let's get an animal spirit for Taurus. Let's get an animal spirit for Taurus, please. What's going on for Taurus December 15th through the 31st? Okay, we have the pronghorn, action. So you're gonna be taking action on something. Now is the time to act. Opportunities are here. Move forward with confidence. Your talents will always help you land on the pinnacle. Your quick wit and keen senses will lead you to success. Okay, Taurus. And at the bottom you have dolphin. So, yeah, don't forget to play. Dolphins are very playful. So, yeah, dolphin and play. Swim in the happy joy of living. Inhale confidence and exhale your fear. Dive into your wisdom. Go with the flow. Yeah, so you want to go with the flow, uh, Taurus. Kind of take things as they come. What else do we have? We're going to get an angel card now. What do we have for Taurus? Okay, we have Andriel. You are a light worker. God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all of its inhabitants. Yeah, so spread your goodness spread your happiness to other people i feel like that's going to really be helpful you also have patience see we have impatience here we have patience here now is the time to learn study and gather your information enjoy being a student because in the future you will synthesize your knowledge into action yeah so you you may be a student you may be studying this may be something that you're working for um, but I feel like spirit is letting you know to have patience in your situation. Kind of, I, I feel like it's coming towards you. Um, it's just time to be patient in your situation. Okay, what do we have for Taurus? What's coming in for Taurus December 15th through the 31st? The Nine of Pentacles. Okay. You have the Knight of Cups. And the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, Taurus, what are you working on? You have the Three of Wands. You have the Queen of Cups. You have the Page of Pentacles. You have the Seven of Wands. You have the Four of Pentacles. And you have the Devil. You have the Knight of Swords. 
the Queen of Swords, and you have the Six of Swords at the bottom. Okay, at the bottom, at the very bottom, you have the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like you're making changes in your life. I feel like you're putting in some kind of kind of work this may be very karmic work Taurus um, but I feel like things are changing things are moving now you want to be at the center of this um, wheel so you want to be centered be focused um, so that you're riding the wheel at the very center because that's where all the good fortune lies now the wheel can either turn in good fortune and can also turn in bad so you want to ride the wheel in the middle be be very grounded be very centered maybe um have your full focus maybe meditate pray whatever it is that you believe in to make you more focused at this time but yeah you have the will of fortune so it's very good energy i'm sorry Okay, so we have, we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like, Taurus, I feel like you're, you're very independent. You're very focused. You're very work-oriented. You are very resourceful in whatever it is that you do. Um, I also feel like you don't mind being by yourself. You don't mind dwelling in your own space. But I do feel like there may be a new beginning coming. That there may be an offer. Um, there may be someone new coming in with this Ace of Pentacles and this Knight of Cups. I feel like this person, this person is coming in to offer you something. If you're already in a relationship, this may be your person who is going to propose. This may be a proposal at this time that's going to create this new beginning. It, it also may be a job pro proposal. Since this is the Ace of Pentacles, this may be dealing with your money. But I feel like something's coming in that's going to be a new beginning for you. Someone's going to offer you some kind of proposal. This may be also contracts coming in. You may have gained a contract that you've been waiting on. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay, now we have the Three of Wands. Queen of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. So definitely communication coming in, and this may be about money, um, but I feel like this is, this is your energy, Taurus. Even, and I know you're not a cup. I know you're not a cup, but I feel like this is your energy. I feel like this is the energy that you're in at the moment. Um, I feel like you're very nurturing. You're very loving. You're very resourceful. I feel like you're very healing. You're very supportive. And that's what the King Queen of Cups represents. Those are her feelings. Those are her uh, gifts. I feel like she's able to talk to people. She's able to advise them. And that's what I see you doing. I see you advising someone. Maybe that's someone that, something that you do for work. Now, this could also be your love interest coming in. It could also be a Pisces, Scorpio, or um, Cancer that's coming in. But I, I feel, I'm really feeling like this is your energy. And I feel like you're very focused. You're, very, you're growing. You're expanding your horizons. I feel like you're very focused on the future. You're looking towards the future. Maybe... You're investing for the future because you have this page of cups here. So something's going to give you some valuable information 
that you're going to be able to use. This may be a money issue. This may be a life issue, but someone's going to come in and bring you some valuable information um, that's going to help you through your journey. This could also be you studying for something. Um, it could also be that you're studying for something. Maybe you're working on your bar exam test or you're working on some kind of test and you're studying for this event. But yeah, I feel like you're, you're really working towards your future, Taurus. Now you have the seven of wands, the four of pentacles and the devil. So with this energy, I feel like I feel like at some point you're you're really protecting your energy. You're really standing your ground on a certain situation. Um, and it may be this situation that you need to take action on. Um, but I feel like you're you want to make the move to really focus on this situation. But I feel like you're holding on to something. I feel like you're holding yourself back, maybe. Especially with this devil energy, I feel like... I feel like something is holding you back. Something is draining your energy when it comes to working on this. Maybe you don't have your full focus on this situation. But I feel like whatever this is, once you remove this blockage, once you remove this blockage, now this could be a blockage, this could be addiction, this could be someone um, very controlling, someone trying to control the issue. The devil energy can also be greed and envy it can also be someone who's very obsessed with the situation but i feel like this energy this devil energy right here i feel like it's blocking you and what you want most is you want to be secure you want this long-term situation you're working for something for security But I feel like you may, this may be you holding on so tight, it's making you feel greedy about the situation. Very interesting energy, Taurus. Now over here we have the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Six of Swords. A lot of swords energy so i feel like you're really using your mind a lot you're using your intellect you're using your thought process in order to get through this situation and i feel like you you are ready to move towards something that is greater is what i want to say and i feel like you're going to have this aha moment about this situation. I feel like you, you may have downloads or you may have thoughts that just come to you out of nowhere about the situation that you're working on. And it will, it will be the answers that you're, you need. But I feel like those thoughts, those answers are coming out of just like thin air. Now, you do have the Queen of Swords as well, Taurus. So I feel like there may be someone around you um, or there may be someone who's going to come in to help you through this situation who is maybe a Gemini's Libra or Aquarius. But I feel like I feel like this is you finding your answers. Your answers are going to lead you to a better place in your situation. Your answers are going to move you to calmer waters, to more stability, to feeling unblocked. Okay. Let's 
let's get a final outcome for the situation. What is the outcome for Taurus? Because I know we're kind of all over the place right now. What is the outcome for Taurus? Okay, yeah, you have the Five of Wands and the Hermit. So I feel like with this Five of Wands energy, I feel like I feel like there may be a lot of competition around you. I feel like someone may be competing with you. Someone may be trying to steal your fire. This also could this also could be you stepping to the head of the Stepping in the head of the line. This also may be you as the leader. You're leading someone, Taurus. You're leading someone. Who are you leading? Who are you leading, Taurus? Whatever this is, I feel like you you gained the truth about the situation. You are you're sitting on your knowledge. You're sitting on your knowledge. Hmm. And I feel like you're you're not backing down. You're following it through, whatever this is. And whatever this is, wow, whatever this is, Taurus, you're going to be recognized. You're going to gain your success. Whatever this is, you're being victorious. You're winning. You are winning. You know what, Taurus, in this reading, I feel like I have no idea what I'm talking about. So, I mean, in the comment section below, tell me if this resonates with you. I really want to know what this is because I have no idea what kind of situation this is. If this is a business situation, if this is, it's just all over the place. But I feel like whatever this is, Taurus, I feel like you are being successful. I feel like, you know, in the end, I feel like you struggle. You go through your challenges, your obstacles. You find your wisdom. You stand your ground. And I feel like you are victorious. I feel like you're a winner. Very interesting. What do we have for Taurus? New Moon and Gemini. Think it through. Okay. Oh, and of course we have so many of this coming out. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we have Full Moon in Leo. Go wild. Last quarter moon in Leo. It may be a Leo coming towards you. Lighten up. Yeah, so don't be so tense in your situation, Taurus. Don't be so, you know, tied up. Lighten up a little bit. Full moon in Scorpio. Breathe through your tension. And first quarter moon in Libra. Keep your heart open. And at the bottom, you have new moon in Aquarius. Open up to change. Okay, let's get a, let's get a monology card. Let's get some monology cards for this situation.
people an allergy for Taurus. Be bold and make the first move. Cardinal Moon. Yeah, you may need to make a first move, but I feel like you're going to be victorious. I feel like you're winning. Um, a time for healing, Balsamic Moon. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. Yeah, so I feel like it's really, I'm like I feel, like I said, uh, Taurus. I feel like you're all over the place. So I really feel like you. I'm. I know you're successful. You're winning, but if you feel more balanced, you feel more closer to your spirit. You feel. Um, if you walk by your intuition, I feel like it's going to go a lot more smoother for you, um, whatever the situation is. So maybe finding your center, meditating, listening to your higher power. And you have, what do you need to release the waning moon? Okay, <laughs> there we go. Okay, and Taurus, believe in the impossible. The impossible is possible, Taurus. Okay, what do we have? Let's get some cards from the universe. What does the universe want to tell Taurus for December? 15th through the 31st. What does the universe want to say to Taurus? My energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I will manifest. Yeah, be totally set on your intentions and tap into that energy. Um, Give out to the universe exactly what it is that you want. Be as specific as possible. And know that this is yours. Okay, you have when I'm in alignment with love of the universe, peace cannot be disrupted. Yeah, that's exactly what I was just saying. You know, be aligned. Find your center. Meditate. Pray. Joy is the ultimate creator. Okay. And hope is the conduit for miracles. Okay. And I feel like, let's see. Let's get some cards to see what Taurus needs to do to overcome the challenges that they will face in December. Let's get some cards to overcome any challenges for Taurus. We have death. Okay. I am learning that endings are merely new beginnings. Yeah, so sometimes when we have an ending, we have to have faith because that ending is just an opening for a brand new beginning. Sometimes when things end, they end because it's just a redirection. We're being redirected back to the right path. Maybe we veered off that path for some reason, some situation. And the ending of something is just putting us back on that path. And see, we have two cards here. We have judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. Yeah, so don't be judgmental in someone else's situation, Taurus. We also have loneliness. I know that I am never alone. Yeah, so like I said, you have protection. You are being protected. You're not alone. Our spirits are around us to guide us and be there for us, to support us. Um, so your spirit guides, the people who loved you, your angels, they surround you. 
whether you know it or not, they surround you. They are there to support you, to hold you up in your tough times, to help you through your obstacles, to, you know, just be supportive. So this is what I have for you, Taurus. If this reading resonates with you, which I'm not sure it will, but <laughs> if this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. And have a wonderful December, Taurus. Many blessings to you. Love and light.